Here is um, uh, more from that Mnuchin interview. Okay. Where yeah. <laughs> Mnuchin <laughs> apparently is defending uh, Trump's proposal for the cyber security cooperation with Russia. They have a lot you of know, computers, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I I don't know. I, I Even their hookers are good at computers, okay. I have I have a lot of experience with that. Yeah, okay. Here here's Mnuchin. <laughs> The president also said in his tweets this morning that he's setting up a cybersecurity partnership with President Putin. That's already drawn a response from many, including Republican Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, who says with partner, partnering with Putin on a cybersecurity unit is akin to partnering with Assad on a chemical weapons unit. Okay. Your response? Well, in, in, all, in all due respect, and I, I think very highly of the senator, but let, let me just comment on that I think this is a very important step forward, that what we want to make <laughs> sure is that we coordinate with Russia, that we're focused on cybersecurity together, that we make sure that they never interfere in any democratic elections or conduct any cybersecurity. And this is like any other strategic alliance, whether we're, we're doing military exercises with our allies or anything else. This is about having capabilities to make sure that we both fight cyber together, which I think is a very significant accomplishment for President Trump. I, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, broadly speaking, I don't have a problem with us making this type of agreement with just about every country on the planet. Right. I mean, you should keep lines of communication open and you should try and get. But I don't get this. How is this the same as doing military exercises with our allies? I mean, Trump's, I don't, I mean, uh, I don't think Putin, I mean, uh, Russia is, you know, I don't perceive them as our enemy. We're not at war with them. But I also don't like, I don't think that we have too, too many of our agenda items are really that in sync. Well, you know what we could do if you wanted to take this on good faith and you wanted to say that. I, you know, I don't know the degrees and the capacity, but I'm sure obviously Putin perceives that the United States interferes with his politics domestically. And I'm sure we do. If you wanted to do like the cyber equivalent of arms control, like we're going to both draw down interfering in each other's domestic politics and have a co-monitoring of it. Yeah. That could be great. Yeah. But as it is now, it does seem a little bit And then bit I would even go right. on, like, we're yeah. going to share certain technologies, right. although I would be very nervous about, frankly, about sharing, um, you know, our technologies about our grid, about our nukes. I mean, I, I, I would just be nervous about that. No, I mean, I obviously, like, you know, sharing that with anybody, we have, right? like, a yeah. nonproliferation, uh, like you said, yeah, arms uh, control uh, treaties, and I imagine that involves... But, I, you know, I don't know. It's very strange. It, it, it's, I think you can monitor each other's sites without giving away this, like, you know, specific yeah. aspects of how things work. Very odd. Let's go to the uh, phone. It almost seems like an invitation to do more on some level. Yeah, we're just uh, we, uh, this way. They're not violating our trust when they do it. <laughs> we're inviting them. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.